At this rate, I should just become an amateur gardening channel. Everyone. Welcome back to another video on my channel and yes I'm in the greenhouse this is another gardening video. Lockdown has got me stumped for content and it seems like gardening is really the only outdoor thing to do so why don't we just get started. So if you remember last year I painted these pots and then I bought flowers to put in the pots not all of them are doing well now so I've bought some more and I'm going to repot them. This is going to be fun. So I've got some different ones this time. You can see one right here. I saw this one. I was like, ooh, this is interesting. I like you. I want you. I'm getting you. And then we've got this one, which I thought was really cute and sweet. And then we've got this one because I liked the mix of this kind of succulent style and then the flowers. And then my mum, because she just liked it and thought it looked nice, picked up this one. It's a campanula, if you wanted to know. Uh, so I'm going to use this one in one of the pots as well because, as I said, my mum just picked it up because she thought it looked pretty. These are the states of last year's pots. However, this is the state of the cup of flowers. So this one, actually, this particular plant isn't doing too badly. It's doing quite well. This one's not too badly. It's still got some of its green. It's still live. And yeah, this broke partway through the year can't remember what happened to it. So it's less of a cup and now just doing oh flowers. Uh, and then these two, yeah, they've not done so well. So we're gonna replace these two. My thinking is, this time round, is to put this one in here because it goes with the same style of what's already in there. And then because this is actually quite a small plant, I think, I'm gonna put that one in here as well. Although, looking at this, this is quite small too, but there's two of these. I think I'll stick with my original plan. So we'll start off with the cup of flowers first, I think, and then we'll move on from there. First of all, we've got to take out, carefully take out what's already in here. This might be more difficult than I thought it would be, because this is now a very dry plant. Let's give it a bit of a wet. Get my tiny watering can. We'll come back to that one. Let's start off with the small one. So take out what's already in here, try and keep the little bits of pot we put in originally. So we're going for this one. Yes, is that what I decided on? I think it is. I'm just going to move my chilli plant. You, you just sit down there for, for a spell. Move them back a bit. That wasn't meant to happen. That's all right, we can just fix it. I need an empty pot. We'll do. Oh, I'm making a right old mess now. Right. I hope I just haven't completely broken the plant trying to unpot it. Why do I have to make gardening look so difficult? I'm sure it's not meant to be this difficult to just pot a plant. Right, one down, two to go. Hello, Mr. Centipede. Look at him running around in there. Whoop, and off he goes. This one, okay, that's going to also fall apart, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this soil, since I have so much of it. Waste not, want not. And I figure since it came in the, what the other plant, since it's what the other plant came in, I figure why can't I use it now? Right. Okay. Well, 
that's another one done. Now let's try and go back to this one. I need to clean the greenhouse again. Who would have thought? Well, the thing is, I don't want all of these to come out. I just want the two I don't want anymore. This right now is also a great opportunity to decide if I want to switch the position of some stuff. So I might actually stick that there. Stick this one in first because it's bigger. Okay. <laughs> so uh, my original plan's not happening. Also doesn't help that this is still far too wet so you can't mould it. Right, I think it's lesson learned. In future, this pot can really only take three plants. But we're going to get the fourth one in, or at least try to. Oh, this one's going to be difficult because look at where all the roots are. Ew! <laughs> Gross, just a too small. I'm not squeamish, like I just chucked it, I just touched it to throw it away just now, but it's not nice when you don't expect it. Let's be real. Oh, I had to pick the rootiest of all plants, didn't I? Oh yeah, this one looks nice, you yeah, know, the two-toned flower, but no, bam, look at all the roots it's got. Is it two? No, it's not. Here we go, we're swapping, we're changing plans. Look, it's small, in a small hole. Let's go. Watch me make another heck of a load of mess. Oh, there we go, that doesn't look too bad. I fixed it, look. Ta-da! Doesn't look too bad, does it? Really happy with my quick thinking. Right, I'm gonna swap this one now as well because let's be honest, that's gonna much more easily go into this big one than this tiny one with the amount of roots that it has. Okay, that one's now in the smaller pot. There's just so much root on this plant. There we go. Oh, I've made such a big mess. I'm going to take these back to where they rightfully belong before I go plant something else because there's something really cool I need to show you in the greenhouse. But let's go put these where they belong first. And here we are, all nicely displayed. Yes, I agree, their pots could really do with a clean, but I don't think the planting's turned out too badly. And it's nice to have some nice new fresh flowers on our front step to welcome in the summer. Yay! So as promised, remember a few videos ago, I can't remember which one it was, where I said that our first patch of, batch of pumpkins didn't grow. So we tried again with the second batch and they did really well. But with the first batch we just left and stacked up all of these bits just on the side. We were like, we'll deal with it another day. That day never came. But look what's grown from our first batch of pumpkins. Two of our pumpkins, which is amazing because we actually have not been doing anything with these. We've literally just left them. In fact, I think one of these was sat on top of it. But... Our chilli plant, which is down here at the moment, normally sits up here and we think, what well, my mum thinks, is that when she's been watering it, the water's come out from the bottom and then the pumpkins have been sat in this trough drinking the water. So, we're going to go ahead and plant these pumpkins outside. So I've got my trowel, though I have any soil. That's the question. No, not open soil. Might just have to make do with what's out there. Problem is, do we even have any space out here to put these pumpkins? I guess we'll find out. I know we've got space under here because I put one under here and it hasn't grown. Or maybe I didn't put one under here. I'm sure I did. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't put one under here. Maybe I'm just making that up. But still, I can put one here. I think I can put one under here because it doesn't look like our broccoli has done very well. Oh well, but our pumpkins are doing really well. So, let's plant two more pumpkins. Who would have thought? Ah, oh, bother. One down. And that 
cats too. Well, I hope that you enjoyed that video. The only thing left to do now is to give everything a bit of a water. But if you did, make sure to give this video a nice big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe because it is absolutely free. If you are subscribed and you haven't clicked that notification bell, make sure to click that notification bell so you know the next time that I post something and that you don't miss out on anything. And why not click somewhere on the screen to check out a video that you might have missed and I will see you in my next one. Bye! I'd wave but I've got a cup. <laughs>